All right, here's number three, and this is my first podcast with a new microphone from Logitech. See how it works out. All right, the first, the real root of this equation is negative 1.796 to three decimal places. Determine the real root of the following. Okay, you see here, there's the, the x cubed minus x plus four, and you see this is basically the same thing except uh, we added in an x minus one instead of the x. You should know that that x minus one, when I go f of x minus one, it moves to the right one unit. Moves to the right one unit. So if this has, if this function has an x-intercept, x-intercept at negative 1.796, then it should move it to the right by one. So we'll add one to this, and we'll get negative 0.796. That's A. B, this one is a little bit harder to see, but you see that the 4 is still there. This is turned into a 2x, and this is turned into an 8x cubed. So we can actually do a little bit of mess here, a little bit of work. 2x cubed minus 2x plus 4. So we've basically gone to f of 2x. Well, f of 2x, <coughs> These are some. These are when the rules start to get a little bit difficult. But I always like to go to something very familiar, and then you can see what happens. So if x, if y equals x squared, it looks like this. If I go y equals two x squared, that's y equals four x squared. That makes it very steep. I multiply all the y values by four. Okay, something like that. And if I had shifted this down, so minus one. You can see that the y values, the, the points where um, the function cross the x-axis, are cut in half, basically. So we can just do that. We say um, negative 1.796 divided by 2. So whatever that is, x equals and x equals. And that's number 3 for you. Number 4. We have this quadratic function, x squared, and then this, this function right here, which is negative x squared plus 6x minus 13. We need to write down the coordinates for the maximum point of g of x. So uh, there's, there's uh, several ways to do this. I think just for practice, maybe I'll complete the square so we can get it into um, vertex form. So g of x, I'll factor out a negative, so negative x squared minus 6x. I like to make some room right here and then plus 13. So the rule is I take half of negative 6 which is negative 3 and then I square it so that's 9 plus 9 and then I just shifted the function so I need to make sure I shift it back so I basically just subtracted 9 because negative times a 9 so I moved it down 9 now I need to move it back up so I don't actually change the function. So g of x equals negative x, and it's always half of this, minus 3 squared, plus, and that's 22. So this point right here is 3. It's the opposite of this, because the minus moves it to the right. 3, 22. So the, okay, graph, let's see here. Uh, describe fully the transformations with map f of x to g of x. So shift um, right 3 down 22 and um, well let's talk about this first. Um, flip flip over x-axis first. So multiply by negative so it flips the function and then write 3 and then down 22. Obviously this is shorthand, you'd have to write a sentence described fully, this isn't very fully, but uh, it's hard to write on this thing. So there's the next two, 3 and 4, uh, stay tuned for 5 and 6.